Today I was in Bloxburg shopping at the mall when I noticed a help wanted sign in front of my favorite store. I always wanted to get a job there, so I definitely have to check it out. Guys, this is so exciting. I have been waiting for a job to open up at this store. One of my friends used to work here and she said she got a 50% discount on all the clothes. So, okay, I'm gonna go apply. All right, here we go. Retail Ruler Rowan. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, here we go. Hi, she said, hello, do you need help with something? Oh, I'm just gonna say, um, I saw the sign. I'm here to apply for a job. She said, that's great. Here, come with me to my office for an interview. Oh, already? Okay. Oh gosh, you guys, hopefully I do well in this interview because I really want this job. Okay, you guys, we are in Rowan's office right now and uh, looks pretty professional in here. I honestly didn't expect to get an interview this quickly, so Hopefully I can do this. Normally I'm pretty good at interviews though. So I think I should be okay, even though it, I'm a little caught off guard. She just said, before the interview, I have to let you know, this is the only store in the whole mall with not even one bad review. Oh, uh, wow, that's awesome. Guys, that's, that is pretty impressive. She said, it's practically perfect since we only hire the best employees. Okay, um, maybe I should be a little more nervous for this interview if they only hire the best. I don't know if I'm the best, I'm just regular. She just said, now then, let's start. Guys, Um, I don't really know what I should be expecting because she just got a super serious look on her face. She said, have you ever worked in retail before? Oh, okay, Uh, pretty standard question. I'm just gonna say, uh, yes, I have. It always kind of ends up really bad, but I have worked in retail before. She just said, good, good, okay, okay. First question, good. She said, do you have experience selling clothes? Uh, yes I do. Are these, are these the serious questions to hire the best employees? I mean, I guess I'm not complaining. She said, you answered the first questions perfectly. I just have one question left. Wait, for the whole interview, that was it? Okay, great. She said, what would you do if someone came in the store and caused a scene? I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, I guess uh, try to calmly solve the problem. I mean, I guess that's all you can hope to do. I don't really know. What do you mean cause a scene? Oh, okay. Well, she looks a lot happier now. She said, wonderful. You answered perfectly, which means you're hired. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, awesome. Guys, the last question made me a little nervous, but surprisingly, the interview was a lot simpler, despite what Rowan made it seem like in the beginning. I'm just gonna say, uh, yay, guys. I got the job. All right, you guys, I've officially started my first shift at my job and my only task really is to ring people up and help any customers with what they need help with, I guess. So pretty simple. Oh, we have a customer. Okay, here we go. She said, hi, I'm just gonna say hi. How can I help you? She said, um, I'm looking for a cute dress for a date tonight with my boyfriend and I was wondering if maybe you had suggestions. Oh, of course, follow me. Guys, this, is literally the easiest job in the world, especially because I love shopping. It's not hard at all. Okay, I'm just gonna say over here is where we keep the best dresses in the store, in my opinion. Okay, we have some other ones, but I think these are the best. She just said, cool, cool, okay, I'll take a look. All right, all right, you guys, hopefully she likes these dresses. Oh gosh, you guys, she picked one out and oh my gosh, I'm just gonna say it's so cute. I'm gonna say I actually have that one too and you look amazing in it. She just said hee hee yay, I'm so glad guys, she looks awesome. I'm gonna say I also have some matching shoes. She said, I can't believe finding a dress like this was so easy. She said, OMG, no way. I'm just gonna say, yep. Uh, oh, she said, show me them. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna say, follow me. Guys, I got her a dress and now I'm also going to get her a pair of shoes. I am so good at this job. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna say right back here. And when you pick some out, I'll ring you up. Guys, this is awesome. She said, you are like the most helpful person ever. Guys, I knew I would be good at this job, okay? And this just proves it. Okay, you guys, I am ringing up Tammy right now and I managed to get her to buy so many clothes and she absolutely loves all of them. So I don't even feel bad that she spent more than just getting a dress. She said, thank you so much for helping me out today. You're literally the best. I'm just gonna say, oh, thanks. And oh, whoa, hey, oh my gosh, what the heck? Guys, a Karen just stormed in here and said, you have got to be kidding. 
kidding me? I am so angry. Move! Um, you can't push up my customers. Excuse me? Uh, she, oh, Tammy just said, what the heck? Why'd you push me? And Karen said, I need a manager now. Wait, hold on a second. What's going on? Tammy just said, hello. And Karen said, get out, kid. Oh. Tammy said, what? Fine. Oh, oh, no. Tammy, come back soon, please. Oh, dang. She was going to be such a good customer. Okay, this Karen is freaking out. She just said, I need a manager. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what's, what's going on? How can I help you guys? I have to maintain my customer service voice and be very polite. But why is she freaking out? She said, all of the quote unquote designer clothes I bought from here are fake. I want a refund. Uh, th that can't be, be right. All of our designer clothes are real and double checked. I mean, I have all of the paperwork for them. She said, are you calling me a liar? Uh, well, what? No, 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 no. Oh, oh gosh, you guys. Um, I have no idea how to handle this because clearly speaking to her normally is not working. She is very angry. Karen just said, I'll leave a bad review. Wait, no, 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 guys. Oh, no, Rowan is so proud that the store doesn't have any bad reviews. I, I can't let a bad review get left on my first day. Are you kidding me? Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, well, we, we can, we can handle this. Just, just calm down and, uh, oh, no, she said, who are you? I'll mention you and, oh, no, Rowan's here. She just said, hi there, what's going on? I'm the owner of this store. Guys, she must have heard all the commotion. Oh, this is so bad. I'm just gonna say, uh, well, um. She has an issue with the uh, designer clothes she bought. Karen said, I am angry. I bought designer clothes from this store and they are fake. Oh, geez. Please don't yell at my boss too. Oh, man. I'm probably going to get fired, you guys. Rowan just said, I would love to address all of your concerns, ma'am. Please come with me to my office and we can get this sorted right away. Karen just said, why are you selling fake clothes? Fine. Oh, okay. Um, well, at least... Rowan is gonna handle it, you guys, but I'm a little embarrassed that I couldn't deal with it myself, especially since that's lit that was literally the third question in my interview, and I said that I'd be able to handle it. All right, you guys, it's five o'clock and the end of my shift, but I wanted to come down to Rowan's office to try to apologize for not being able to handle that Karen from earlier. I feel so bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock on the door, but wait. I don't, I don't see her in the office. What the heck? Where, where the heck did she go? Guys, she hasn't been back up to the store, so I just assumed she'd be down here. Maybe she's in the bathroom or something. I guess I could just wait until she shows up. What the? Oh, guys, what the heck? She just came up from the floor? Is that a secret hatch? What the heck is she doing down there? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, she's coming this way. I, oh, jeez. She said, oh, Carrie, what are you still doing here? Your shift should be over. Uh... Oh, I, um, was just, uh, coming down to, uh, apologize for not being able to handle that Karen earlier. She said, oh, don't worry about it. It's your first day and some mistakes are bound to happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a relief anyways. I'm just gonna say, uh, thanks for understanding. Um, how did it go? I mean, did, were the clothes actually fake? Did the... Karen calmed down. She said, that was all just a misunderstanding. I dealt with it. Oh, okay. That was, she said that a little weird, guys. Um, she said, now you should head home and quit worrying about it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, thanks. Anyways, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Guys, was it just me or was that a really weird conversation? She was acting kind of suspicious and I don't know why, but I kind of have a bad feeling about her. Okay, you guys, I'm home now and my best friend Maddie just came over and I finished telling her everything that happened at my new job today. And I honestly can't stop thinking about the weird vibes that Rowan gave off right before I left. And then Maddie just got on the computer. So I'm not exactly sure what she's doing. Oh, she just said, yeah, I just finished reading the reviews. It's kind of weird. They only have good reviews. Okay, I guess she was researching the clothing store. I'm just going to say, well, uh, maybe they just uh, convinced everyone to leave a good review. I mean, it's a good store. I love it. She just said, maybe, but it doesn't make sense. Even the best places have some bad reviews. Well, that's true, I guess. Uh... 
And obviously the most suspicious part is that she uh, literally has a secret match on her floor in the office. I mean, there's not a, like a regular way you can look at that without it being weird. Maddie just said, so what exactly are you planning to do with all this info? Um, just gonna say, honestly, I don't know. I have no real like proof she's doing anything wrong, but my gut feeling is telling me that something weird is happening there and my gut feelings are usually right. So I don't know. Okay, you guys, I am back at work. It's the next day and me and Maddie talked some things through and obviously decided I have to investigate this secret hatch. But the problem is I am literally always in here. I'm the only other person that works here besides Rowan. So I have a little idea. I just need to get back here. Hold on a second, you guys. I'm gonna go to the farthest back corner. So I'm gonna go to this one. Okay, now that I'm hidden inside the store, the plan is to get Rowan out of her office so that I can investigate and it all revolves around Maddie. So she should be in here any second. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh my gosh. Okay. She just came in and started screaming. This is the worst store ever. I hate this place. Okay. Okay. I need to get back into my hiding spot, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try to watch when I can, but clearly as you can see, this plan revolves around Maddie causing a scene in here so that Rowan will show up, notice that I am nowhere to be found, and hopefully try to take Maddie to her office to talk to her, but then Maddie is actually just going to lead her on a big chase. She just said, someone needs to come out here and help me. Uh, does no one work at this place? Ugh. Oh, Rowan just got here. She just said, what's going on here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just need to stay hidden. I'm going to try to peek and see. Oh, there they are. There they are. She said, where's my employee? And Maddie said, this is the worst place. Oh, she's running over here. I gotta hide. I gotta hide. Holy cow. Rowan just said, ma'am, please call calm down. What is the issue? She said, please just follow me to my office. And Maddie said, no. Oh gosh. Okay. She just needs to get her to chase her. Oh, she said, I will leave bad reviews. And Rowan said, ma'am, stop. Oh, where did she go? Did they run out? Oh, there she goes. Holy cow. Okay, guys, Maddie got Rowan to leave. This is perfect. Okay, I'm they're going down the escalator right now. I just need to make sure that they don't go into her office. I'm going to give them a... Oh, Maddie said, you'll never catch me. Okay, there she goes, you guys. I mean, I guess I can count on Maddie to cause a distraction. That's for sure. But now that they are out of the mall, it is time for me to go investigate the office. And hopefully my gut feeling is correct about Rowan because after this, I might get fired anyways for not being in the store. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, I think the coast is clear. I'm going to the office. All right, here we go, you guys. I'm hoping she left her office door unlocked since she was trying to calm Maddie down. Yes, okay, it's open. It's open, you guys, here we go. I am inside the office. I just have to work fast because I'm not sure how long Maddie can actually distract her for, but I see the hatch on the floor. I don't know how I didn't see this during my actual interview. You guys, that would have been a big red flag for me, but uh, oh no. No, 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 guys. She locked the hatch. What the heck? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let me think. She probably has keys in here somewhere, right? Let's see. Not in any of these little boxes. Um, these are just files on the store. Inventory. Oh, oh, keys. I found them. I found them. I found the keys. Okay, here we go. Let me have those. Come on, please work. Yes, unlocked. Okay, okay, there we go, you guys. Okay, you guys, secret hatch, a secret basement, and a sketchy ladder that never means anything good. So I guess it's time to see what Rowan's hiding. <sighs> okay, hopefully I don't find anything too illegal down here. Oh, oh no, oh no, wait, there's people in that cell. What the heck? Hold on, is that the Karen from yesterday? And is that Tammy? That was the customer I was trying to help. What are they, what are they doing down here? She just said, hey, I remember you from the other day. Oh, hold on, why are you trapped? What's happening? Guys, I don't know what I expected to find. Honestly, I probably should be thinking the worst at this point with how many times I've seen stuff like this, but I don't know. I guess I was expecting some type of like, maybe, I don't know, money or something. I don't really know what I was expecting, but not people in a cage. Karen just said the mall owner, she's a scammer. Wait, what? What do you mean she's a scammer? 
She said, I proved that my clothes were fake and she trapped me instead of refunding my money? What? Is that what she meant by it was a misunderstanding and that she handled the situation? And, and wait a second. What? Tammy, what are you doing down here? I literally saw you leave. There was no way she could have trapped you at the same time. She said, um, same thing happened to me. I found out some of my clothes were fake when I got home, so I left a bad review. Wait, guys, that's also what Karen threatened to do when, when she showed up at the store. She said, the owner of the place showed up at my house and trapped me here and made me delete the review. What? That's insane. I mean... It's crazy to trap Karen in the first place, but to go to a customer's house? How did she even find out where she lived? Karen said, are you going to let us out? Oh, oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna say yes, of course, uh, but follow me. We have to be fast, okay, guys? I don't know how long Maddie can keep Rowan distracted for. Hopefully for a while so that we can actually just get out of here and escape really easily. Come on, guys. We have to be really fast and really quiet. Honestly, you guys, uh, this was pretty simple. A pretty simple escape considering like how quickly I found all of this out. I only had to work two shifts. So I'm going to take this as a successful win. It looks like Rowan is not back yet. So we can just head out this way. All right, you guys, once we get out of the mall, we are going straight to the police. Oh, oh no. Guys, I spoke too soon. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Rowan just said, Carrie, what are you doing? Okay, well, you know what? It looks like there's no getting out of this, so I'm gonna say, what am I doing? Why are you selling fake clothes? Okay, maybe, maybe there's a good reason, but honestly, probably not. She just said, why? Because there's more money in selling fake clothes than real clothes, duh. Uh, seriously? That, that's, that's why you sell fake designer clothes? She said, and now that you know about what I've been doing, I'm afraid none of you are going to be leaving this store. Whoa, what the? Where did she pull that hammer from? What the heck? Baby just said, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Guys, I, I thought we were going to be able to just get out of here. I didn't grab a weapon or anything. I, I don't actually know what to do. She just said, all of you, back in the basement now or things are going to get ugly. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I, Karen, what the? Where the heck did she get a pipe from? What the? She said, I've had enough. No one messes with me and ruins my day. Wait, Karen, oh my gosh. She's she's chasing her out of the store. Um, okay. Guys, honestly, I never thought I'd be saved by Karen before, but looks like having one around this time actually paid off. Tammy just said that Karen might actually be insane. I'm just gonna say, yeah, but uh, it helped out today, so I'm not complaining. 